Hey guys, so we're gonna do a makeup haul today. I've accumulated some things that I want to show you and I always do like little mini reviews and talk a little bit about each product so let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with things for the eyes. I picked something up at the same time that I picked up the Wet n Wild Sequins and Stardust collection and I didn't include it in that video because this is part of the permanent line. But this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in the shade Taupe of the Morning. And that's what it looks like. I wanted to get a taupe eyeliner. This is not really what I had in mind, but I saw it and I thought I would try it. And the way I wear this, um, I didn't do it today. I should have because it probably would have looked okay with this look that I have going on. But anyway, I'll do a swatch on my hand then so you can see. So that's what the shade looks like. This is more of like a golden taupe. And what I would like to find is um, more of a deeper shade of taupe. Um, I don't know. I just think a taupe eyeliner would be nice to have. But this isn't really the color that I'm looking for. But since they, Wet n Wild eyeliners are only 99 cents and they're huge, it'll last you forever. Um, so the way I wear this is I usually put this on the waterline and then I put something else along the lash line. Um, I usually do this with a brown eyeliner. So probably wouldn't do this with the black. But... Anyway, I picked that up and I've been using that here and there when I do, when I want to do a taupe liner. <laughs> Yesterday, I bought an Anastasia single eyeshadow. I know the trend right now is to buy pre-made eyeshadow palettes, but I really prefer buying singles when I can. Because I would prefer to put together my own palette rather than have someone else dictate what colors I'm going to use and how I'm going to use them together. Uh, I mean, I know you don't have to do that. You can pick and choose, but sometimes you don't have any choice. If you want eyeshadows by a specific brand, you have to buy their pre-made palettes because they don't sell them individually. For example, Lorac and um, who else does them that way? Viseart. Uh, there's just certain brands that they don't sell single eyeshadows. Wait a minute, does Viseart sell single eyeshadows? I'm not sure. Well, anyways, um, I prefer to buy my eyeshadows individually. So I picked up a new Anastasia eyeshadow, and I put put them in a Z palette. So this is my Anastasia palette. I figured I would just show you everything that I have so far. When I first started collecting these, I started off mostly with the matte shadows. The matte shadows are amazing. The, all the shadows are amazing, but I really like the mattes. Then I picked up some velvet finish, and now I think the, the last couple ones I've gotten are the titanium. So I'm starting to branch out a little bit. But this is pink champagne. So it's a really shimmery pinky, almost like a taupey pink. And that's what I have on my lids today. And I, I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm really glad that I got that color. I think that's, for me, especially with my skin tone, I think that's a really wearable color if I want something shimmery on my eyeshadow. On my eyeshadow, on my lids. So that's what I have to show you for eye products. Now let's move on to lip products. And I've got quite a few of them here, so I'm going to have to be careful how much I talk about each thing. Uh, the first thing that I want to show you is a repurchase. I've had this lipstick before, and I saw a picture of somebody wearing it the other day, and I was like, that was a beautiful lipstick, but it got purged from my collection because it got old. I repurchased it. And what I'm talking about is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Born With It. It's a beautiful pink, and this isn't really the time of year that I would wear a lot of pink lipsticks, but if I feel like wearing a pink lipstick, this is a gorgeous one. 
and that is what it looks like swatched so it's just really pretty the Maybelline color sensational lipsticks are such a great formula uh, the next thing I want to show you is a bite beauty multi stick I've talked about these quite a bit in my last few videos and I started off with one fell in love with it and the first one I bought was cashew and that one I would use for eyes cheeks or lips it's a really great um, color that you can do a lot with second one I bought was blondie and I mainly like to use that as an eyeshadow base because of the type of color it is but I don't know if I've showed you guys this shade yet or talked about it in any of my videos this is almond and this one I mainly like to use on my lips and it's a very warm like terracotta type shade and um, I just I don't know I love these so that is bite beauty multi stick in almond so I wanted to show you that because I wasn't really sure if I had showed you that yet or talked about it. Lorac has liquid lipsticks. Uh, you may not know that because they are only sold at Kohl's and I wanted to try one so I picked up the Lorac Pro liquid lipstick in the shade Nude Rose. And they smell, they have like a sweet smell, but it's a little bit fake smelling. Like it's sort of like if somebody took cupcakes and chemicals and swirled it together. So I don't feel like they got the scent quite right. Here is a swatch of the color. It's just a very wearable pinky nude shade. I figured a lot of times when I try a lip product for the first time, I try to stick to like the most wearable shades possible and then if I really fall in love with something then I'll branch out and get something a little bit more adventurous but um, when you first apply this when I first applied it I was freaking out going oh my god this is horrible the the formula but it wasn't it's just it's horrible until it dries when you first apply it, it goes on really streaky and uneven, and I was like, oh no. But then when it dried, it was fine. It, it like normalized. Is that a word? It, it became fine once it dried. Then all the streaks went away, and it's a very, very strange, very strange thing. Um, I would say these are, uh, I think it was like 20 bucks, somewhere around there. I don't love this and I don't hate it. Um, it's okay, but for $20, I want something to be more than okay. So I probably wouldn't buy any more of these. But I do like it and I absolutely will wear it. I mean, it's a really practical color that's going to go with everything. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of a kind of a strange formula, but I'm glad that I have it you know like I said I don't hate it I wouldn't return it so that's that uh, the next thing I want to show you is a flower beauty ultimate hydra silk ultimate lip butter in the shade uh, naked petal this is Kathleen lights fault <laughs> she was wearing this in a video and um, I don't know what it is about that girl, but I buy so many things that she shows in videos. And a lot of times, honestly, I don't really like a lot of the things that that uh, I end up buying that she wore. But she loved this. She had this in a favorites video and everything. I haven't had a lot of good luck with this brand, Flower Beauty. This is Drew Barrymore's uh, makeup line that they sell at Walmart. The only thing that I bought from this brand that I really, really liked was the cream eyeshadows. Those I really like. Um, but other than that, I have not had a lot of good luck with this. So I think I'm just going to stop <laughs> trying their, their products. Um, oh, I have one of their uh, cream blushes too that I like. So this is just uh, like a sort of a peachy nude shade. 
And to me, it's more like a tinted lip balm than it is a lipstick. I mean, it is called Ultimate Lip Butter, so I guess that's what it's supposed to be. It's more like a tinted lip balm. And there it is there. I don't know. I res wasn't really wild about the formula, and it didn't really show up very well on my lips. It was kind of sheer, and... I didn't feel like it was that hydrating. It was, rather than hydrating, it was more like uh, chemically. I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan. I would think that this could be practical, though, to just throw in your purse so that if you were out somewhere and you wanted to just apply something that would always go with everything that you had on, um, it would be like a very generic type of lipstick that would go with everything that you could just leave in your purse and I might even do that I don't and again like with the Lorac Pro I don't hate this but I don't love it either and I can't say that I would recommend this and I definitely wouldn't buy any more colors of it but it's okay but you know there's so many great lip products on the market now that things have to be better than okay so I wouldn't recommend that okay next are a couple of things that I had pretty much given up on. Are you aware that there are new limited edition shades of the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams? You're probably thinking, um, yeah, but they're not really new anymore. Well, they are to me because it took me this long to find them. I had searched so many stores looking for a limited edition display of the new shades and I couldn't find them. I, and I pretty much gave up and I happened to be at uh, Kmart one day and I saw a full display, not even touched. And I was like, oh, finally I found these. So I got two of them because I knew if I thought about it and went back, it would probably be wiped out and then I wouldn't have a chance to, you know, have my choice of all the colors. So I got two shades and like I said, these are limited edition, so these won't be around uh, you snooze you lose type thing and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the Milani Amore matte lip creams they they feel nice on your lips they're really pretty it's a great formula the price is right um, these I would recommend so I got sweetie which is number 29 and again you know I have a tendency to go for the safe colors but you know, now that we're into fall and winter, I'm probably um, going to be a little more adventurous than this because this is the type, the shades that I ended up buying would be things that would, that I would be more likely to wear probably in the warmer weather rather than now. Anyway, <laughs> they'll still be nice to have. This is number 29, Sweetie. And I guess you could wear that any time of year. That's a pretty practical shade. That's like a sort of like a pinky nude shade. I love now they got the smell right on these. These are bakery scent, but they don't have any chemical smell with the bakery scent, which is what you want. <laughs> and number 30, honey. These have a doe foot applicator. They're really easy to put on. It's a great formula. So that's honey. So that's like a deeper, deeper shade of nude and warmer than sweetie. Sweetie is cooler. Honey is warmer. Honey is darker in shade. Sweetie is lighter. So I figured those would be really practical buys that would go with everything. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is I found the face highlighter from the Wet n Wild Sequins and Stratus collection. I did a separate video showing you all the products from that collection with the exception of the false lashes and the face highlighter. I didn't want the false lashes and I hadn't been able to find the face highlighter. Well, this weekend I went to a ton of Five Below's and Rite Aid's because that's where people are seeing the collection. And... I pretty much bombed out at most of the places that I went to, but then I did find it at a Rite Aid, but someone had 
swatched it. They had removed the sticker on the front of it so it doesn't even have the name on it anymore. But what I decided to do was uh, sanitize it and they had really swatched a large portion of it. Like they must have stuck their finger in there and went whoosh almost across the whole thing. But I really wanted this. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and get it anyway because I really don't think I would have found it anywhere else because like I said, every place it's been gone from the display. By the way, if you're not somebody, who, if you're someone who doesn't mind ordering online, this whole collection is on the Wet n Wild website. So if that's an option for you to do that, I prefer to buy things in person. Long story, won't get into that. Um, so anyways, I found it. And it's called Holly Goldhead is the name of it. And that's the packaging. It has a little slide-out mirror on the side. Um, you, I'm not going to bother to show you. You know what a mirror looks like. So there's a mirror that slides out on the side. And so that's what it looks like. And it's way prettier in person than the pictures that I had seen on blogs and in, um, in print. So I'm really glad that I got it because it doesn't look like what I was expecting. It's way prettier. It's a gold, but it has like, like a hint of pink or peach to it. Really, really pretty. And then the star, of course, as you can see, is deeper in shade. But um, yeah, really pretty. I have it on today. I just put a little bit on, it's not really showing up on camera too much, but I, I could have gone heavier, but I like a, a more subtle highlight. So, see, it's kind of like a peachy gold sheen highlight. And when you first swatch it, it has a little bit of an overspray but when you go down deeper, there's still shimmer there. It's just not as much as when you first, first swatch it. Now, in terms of other highlighters, because I was really curious if I had anything like this in my collection, I do not. The closest thing I have to this is another Wet n Wild Limited Edition highlighter, the Precious Petals highlighter. You've all seen this in videos. But this is the closest thing I have to that. And let me hold them up side by side just so you can see how they compare. They're not the same though. I certainly wouldn't say one is a dupe for the other. But they're somewhat similar. So I guess if you have precious petals, you don't need Holly Goldhead. But there is a slight, slight difference. Matter of fact, let me swatch them. Let me just do a uh, finger swatch. So this one is Holly Goldhead. This one is Precious Petals. You can see that Holly Goldhead has got more of a golden color to it. So they're, they're not the same. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, what I had that was closest to it. I mean, I have other highlighters, but these are pretty unique for what I have. And I have one last product to show you, and this is a category that I almost never talk about, and it is skincare. Um, I've used several different eye creams over the years, and to be honest with you, I thought they were a waste of money and that they didn't really do much, especially for what it costs, because eye creams are normally pretty expensive. And I got a free sample of the new Olay Eyes Ultimate Eye Cream in the October issue of Allure Magazine. I subscribed to that, so I saw this and I was like, well, heck yeah, I'll, I'll try it. And it says, Ultimate Eye Cream for Dark Circles, Wrinkles, and Puffiness. Now, under my eyes, I definitely have dark circles, but I don't have wrinkles or puffiness. It, they're not like eye bags, they're just indentations. And I feel like this has made a difference. And um, so I used the whole sample. I just used, you know, a little bit at a time. And I decided that 
Uh, there was a coupon that came with the free sample, so I, um, actually, I don't think I used, I didn't end up using the manufacturer's coupon, but I had a store coupon for Bed Bath & Beyond, 20% off one item. I did use that and was able to get it for probably the cheapest I would be able to get it anywhere because the price on this is so different from one store to the next. Um, for example, I was at Rite Aid, they wanted $32 for this at Rite Aid. And at Bed Bath & Beyond it was 20, ooh, what was it, was it 25? And then with the coupon it was 22, I think, something like that. Anyways, here's what it looks like. And you only get uh, 0.4 fluid ounces which isn't even half of an ounce so you don't get much you get four tenths of an ounce and but I really feel like this is the first eye cream that I've ever used that actually did something where I could feel that it was doing something and I could see an improvement so it's like a peachy cream and it has peptides and vitamins in it and yeah, I feel like like it does work to a certain extent. And I'm very curious to see how this is going to be over time because, you know, it should do more. It, it should improve more over time. And uh, basically on the box it just says what I just said. So I use this. When I get out of the shower in the morning, I put a little bit on. And then after I take my makeup off at night, I put a little bit on just in those dark circles. I'm not using it over the entire eye area. I certainly could. But I just want to use it for the dark circles to see. And this one has always been way worse than this side. But the side that is not as bad um, is looking pretty good lately. Of course, keep in mind, I do have concealer and corrector on as well. Uh, but yeah, I think I've, I'm seeing a little bit of an improvement there. So that's the new Olay Eyes Ultimate Eye Cream. And uh, yeah, I think it does work so far. I, I'm seeing a little bit of an improvement. So that's it. That's my makeup and a little bit of skincare haul. And um, Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.